In this video, we will cover the differences between the iCelsius and the iCelsius 1.x apps. To help you make a more informed decision on which app is best for you, we will take an in-depth look of both. Let's start out with the iCelsius 1.x app. The first thing to note is that the app is not compatible with our wireless line of iCelsius products. Upon opening the app, one of the first things you may find is that this particular app has two different views. The classic display as well as the iCelsius barbecue view. Switching between these views is done simply by pressing the app icon. Take some time examining each view to decide which one you like best. After deciding which view you are comfortable with, it is time to move on. One of the most important things to note about the iCelsius 1.x app is that when a probe is plugged in, data is automatically stored. This stored data can be viewed by pressing the graph icon. To export this data, simply press the share icon located in the lower right area of your screen. A more detailed explanation of data exportation via the iCelsius 1.x app is located in the info section. The last thing to mention about the iCelsius 1.x app is noted in the alarming section on your iOS device. Unlike the iCelsius app, when using an iOS phone, you are able to set the alarms on the app to call a designated phone number when your temperatures exceed your set limits. Now let's take a look at the iCelsius app, which can also be referred to as the iCelsius 2.0 app. This app is compatible with both our tethered and wireless line of probes. Upon opening the app, you'll see the live view screen. An interesting feature in this app is the secondary view mode titled Comfort View. This view is used to its full potential when using our RH or Relative Humidity probe. Another important thing to note about the iCelsius app is unlike the iCelsius 1.x app, the iCelsius app does not constantly record your temperatures. In order to record a data set, the user must press the graph icon. From here a data set can be logged by pressing the start recording and stop recording icons. Another interesting feature from the iCelsius app is the ability to take a snapshot. All data previewed in the current session can be instantaneously saved by pressing the snapshot icon. Whether you chose to record a specific portion of your data, or if you took a snapshot of your session, it will be available for you to view in the history icon of the app. A more detailed explanation of data exportation on the iCelsius app is located in the info section. Setting alarms in the iCelsius app is done by pressing the bell icon listed directly under your temperature readings on the live view page. We plan to continuously update this app in the future. Choosing which app is right for your iCelsius tethered probe is truly a matter of personal preference. Both apps offer unique benefits designed to help our users. To learn more, or to order an iCelsius product, go to www.icelsius.com.